Hello everyone, Philvin here. So I've been on Scratch for exactly 9 years now, and before I started making Scratch tutorials and other videos on this channel, I started by making games on the Scratch website just like any other Scratcher. And today, I'm feeling nostalgic, so I'm gonna play my most popular Scratch games that I've made. But before we begin, I am publishing my very own Scratch to Unity online course this summer. In this course, I teach you how to transition from creating games in Scratch to creating games in Unity. And I do so by teaching you everything you need to know about programming as well as how to use Unity Game Engine. Signups for this course are on my website, fuelvanacademy.com, so be sure to sign up after this video. So the first game that I'm gonna play is the most popular one that I've made. It's called Cash Tycoon. So this is a clicker game where your goal is to change your status from penniless to a cash tycoon. So pretty much that means you have to earn a lot of money. And you can gain money by clicking on this coin right here. And as you earn more cash, your status will upgrade to a higher and higher status. You can also go to the shop and buy some businesses. So as you can see here, we can gain 10 cash per second if we purchase a lemonade stand. So let's try to get that. Okay, so I have 1,240 cash. I can now buy a lemonade stand. I'm gonna do that. Okay, and now as you can see, we are earning 10 cash per second. Nice. And I can also buy upgrades. So if we go here, then as you can see, we have some coin upgrades. This one gives you 20 cash per click. We can also upgrade our businesses, but these cost a lot. So I am going to hold off for now and click for some more cash. And okay, so I just got like 9,500 cash and now my status is broke. So I am no longer penniless, which I guess is an upgrade. Um, okay, now I am needy, um, but I can still keep on upgrading like so and keep on increasing my status later on. All right, so now I have a ton of cash and right now my status is rich and I have a ton of businesses that I'm owning that's earning me a lot of cash. And I've bought quite a few of these upgrades as well, um, but yeah. All right, and the next game that I'm gonna play is called 8-Bit Adventure. I made this about seven years ago, and let's see the instructions. Oh no, Lil Bobby McBobberton III Jr. Senior Sir Ma'am is lost. I wonder what deadly traps and enemies he will encounter. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking back then, but let's just play the game. So pretty much this is a standard platformer, but the character can jump extremely high. Um, but yeah, so as you see here, we have some traps. We have these fireballs and also these spikes. I was originally inspired by a Mario type of game, um, but yeah, there's also these spike blocks. And okay, this level is pretty difficult. All right, let's jump on the spring and onto the spike block and next level. Okay, as you see, there are some cannons here that shoot deadly cannonballs. Let's try to avoid these as well, and also the spike blocks. Okay, this level is pretty difficult. All right, let's try to get past this one. Okay, and now we have these new type of spike blocks. These automatically appear. Okay, let's dodge these fireballs, or lava balls, I guess you can call them. All right, avoid the cannon, try to timer jump perfectly, and go to the next level. Okay, now we have these fire spirits. They shoot fireballs at you if you get too close. Okay, that is pretty dangerous. Let's get past that, all right. And that was pretty much uh, the game. I made the game seem a lot easier than it looks. Um, that's because I have it in muscle memory since I created these levels. Um, but yeah, that is 8-bit adventure. Okay, so the next game I'm gonna show you is my personal favorite that I've made. It's called Dungeon Keepers. I've made this about eight years ago. Um, anyways, let's try it out. Okay, so we have this story, once upon a time, blah, blah, blah. Okay, next. So we have these bosses that you have to fight. So let's try out our tier one boss. This should be easy difficulty. So, okay, we have a player that can be controlled with a mouse. And we have this giant swinging axe thing. Um, okay, on the top right is the boss health. Top left is the player health. Okay, it's coming down at us. Let's try to dodge it. All right, it's just swinging around. Okay, it's going up now. What is it gonna do? 
Okay, it is coming down at us. Cool. Yeah, we just have to dodge its attacks. That is pretty much boss one, so let's finish the boss off. Okay, cool, we destroyed it. And now we can go on to the next bosses. Okay, so we have this giant spike ball that's shooting spikes at us. Uh, that looks quite menacing, but I think we got it. Yeah, the spikes are shooting pretty slow, so it's pretty easy to dodge at the moment. All right, that was pretty easy. Um, let's jump to the third boss. So this is getting a bit harder now, uh, but let's see what it is. Okay, so this is a giant spinning fan. So let's see what it does. Okay, it's creating this type of black hole type of thing. And we do take damage if we're in it. So let's try not to take damage. Okay, that just went down super fast. Okay, now it's following us. So we have to try to dodge this like so. Yeah, I wonder how this boss doesn't get dizzy after spinning this much. Okay, so the dark parts disappeared. Now I think we're on to phase two. Okay, so it threw knives at us and now it's becoming really big. So, okay, this is pretty difficult. We have to dodge the knives and the big fan. Okay, it just shrunk. It is back to phase one, which is the big dark circle thing. And it's gonna come down at us right now. Okay, all right, the boss is almost down and Okay, cool, we got it, I think. Oh no, we died. Okay, let's move on to boss four. This is a more difficult one now. Let's see what this is. Okay, it's like a giant like spike block. All right, it's coming down at us. It is moving pretty quickly, so we have to make sure to aim at it and hit it. All right, okay, so giant spikes are now coming up at us from below and it's moving even more quickly. This can't get any worse, right? Okay, this can get worse. Uh, this is quite difficult, and it's coming down. Okay, that is very tough. Okay, so the spike blocks are now gone. Okay, cool, we got it. So now, once you defeat the first four bosses, the final boss battle is unlocked. So we have this angry balloon. Looks pretty angry. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's planting these like dark circles that are expanding and it has bombs. Okay, so they blow up. So now it's shooting these bullets with missiles. Okay, so we have to dodge the bullets while dodging the missiles as well. Okay, now it's summoning these circular things. Okay, there's a lot of them and it's shooting bullets. We have to be careful here. Okay, and we have defeated the boss. Nice, and we got our dungeon key and we win. And now we have a nice end game credits. Okay, so the next game I'm gonna show you is called Cursor Chaos. So I've also made this game around seven years ago. So let's check it out. Okay, so place cursor here to begin. Let's see what chaos there is. Okay, so pretty much you are this white cursor um, and your goal is to dodge all of the enemies. And there is music that matches the gameplay, but I don't want to get copyright striked, so I am just playing this game on mute. But yes, the game is supposed to sync up with the music, but yeah, we just dodge all of these enemies that are appearing. So it's like bouncing balls. And we have these missiles. Okay, there's a lot of them here. All right, now we have four turrets. This is gonna get quite difficult. Okay, now we're in some like Flappy Bird game. Interesting. Also keep in mind, you only have one life. So if you touch any enemy, then the game restarts and you have to start from the very beginning. So now we have spikes coming in from four directions. Now we have this big rotating like block thing with falling spikes. Okay, this is gonna be a bit difficult. Okay, now this is one of the harder levels. Um, we have this flashing screen and these moving triangle things. Okay, we have to dodge these. Okay, we're good. Now we have this level where we have to stay at the bottom to avoid touching that block. Now we have a lot of missiles coming at us and we have this rapid fire turret and we have this Oh, okay, that was close. And we 
are done. This is like an exploding bomb. And the game is finished. And you are rewarded by... I don't know what this is. I don't know why I added that. Um, but yeah, okay. That's the entire game. Alright, and the last game that I'm going to show you guys is Home 2. It's a super difficult platformer with hidden traps. And I created this also about seven years ago. So let's try it out. Okay, so it starts off with this little dude. So there's no gameplay yet, but this guy misses its home and it's crying. Okay, that is pretty sad. And now the game begins. So, okay, your journey will not be easy. Okay, seems pretty easy right now. Okay, there will always be help and harm. Sometimes you just can't see it. Okay, so how do we get past this? Um, well, I'll just try jumping, and oh, seems like there's invisible blocks that appear from under you. Okay, that's pretty nice, this is pretty easy. Okay, we just died. Um, so I guess there's invisible blocks, and also blocks that seem like it's the ground, but are actually traps. Okay, next level, there is never an easy path. Let's see. Okay, well, yeah, guess there's invisible fans here. Okay, well, it seems like this level is pretty straightforward. Oh, and we just fell, so... All right, it seems like we're gonna have to go up into this block area. And yes, this is an invisible area. All right, and let's jump. Okay, we there was an invisible spike there. I forgot about that. Okay, let's go down here. All right, cool, next level. That was not too bad. Okay, so expect the unexpected. What is this? Okay, let's go here. Oops, we have a block here. And let's try to go down here. Okay, so now, what do we do here? Well, I think the most logical answer would be to go on the platforms, right? Oh, okay, guess not. So, that was a trap. So I'm gonna go here instead. And nice, there are invisible blocks to help us through. Okay, and now we have some wind, it seems like. Sometimes your friends can turn into foes. Okay, interesting. Now the wind constantly pushes us to the right of the screen. So it makes it extra difficult. Okay. Oh, that was an empty block here. Okay, let's dodge that. Okay, this is now super difficult because the wind is going against us. Uh, this is pretty difficult. Okay, I am totally not cheating, but let's go to the next level. Okay, when you're stuck, keep trying. Okay, nice. Okay. This level seems fine right now. Cool. And we made it. Okay. Um, there is no going back. Okay, this seems pretty tough, because we can't go left, because the wind is always carrying us. Okay, nice. Okay, we got it. Cool. Um, but as long as you never quit... Um, okay, let's see. Cool, we have these traps here, but we are dodging them. Okay, nice. You will succeed. Oh, cool. And it seems like our player has found their home. And the game is finished. But anyways, that's it for this video. I didn't show every single one of my games, but if you want to see a part two, let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to sign up for my summer boot camps on my own website, fuelvanacademy.com. Registration will be opening up soon. But anyways, that's it for this video. See ya!